there's a responsibility for us to make people remember and tell a real history rather than these, you know, version of events which are usually lies. It's been a huge um, uh, evolution in the art practice, I, I suppose, because, you know, in the early days, I, I got these amazing skills with spray paint and stenciling and, and then later on, as I got a little bit older, I started looking at and knowing more about my family history and, you know, the history of Aboriginal affairs in Australia. My grandmother brought me up as a young man and that generation and, the gen and my father's generation, there was a systematic trauma that was, you know, they, you could never speak out against the government because of the fear of persecution. So it's my generation that we've come out and we've been very vocal about our art and, and what happened in this history of our country. A lot like in this country and many other countries where Indigenous people have been persecuted and, and had their lands taken from them. And the title for the, the work that's outside uh, in the foyer always was, always will be. So it's a very old political statement that was used in protests by my people back in the 19, late 1920s, early 30s, where people were protesting on the streets about the, the violation of rights and loss of land and identity, language. And the, the chant was, always was, always will be, Aboriginal land. And I think, you know, it's a timely reminder for all of us. The thing about painting is you could stop at any point and say it's done, and there's parts of the whole process where I really like how it looks, um, but obviously as we get closer, it's just coming more and more to life. And so I'm really happy, and I'm really happy to see uh, Rico having his piece emerge like this. My family, uh, to represent the community, there was four male symbols and four female symbols. This was designated to break up over 12,000 square kilometres. People knew from the symbols, um, the diamond shapes, they knew that where you came from, which part of the land you were associated to, north, south, east and west. I can have a voice and reintroduce this symbol and say, look, here's something from the past, but I'm into the present and looking towards the future and you know and for example this work the the camouflage i've taken you know a military form of, uh, of concealment the whole idea about uh, camouflage is to blend conceal and hide whereas i'm using introducing the diamond geometric patterning and saying look here i am you know bright colors we're not hiding anymore we're we're proud of who we are and there's a proud identity and a declaration of we're here to stay and, you know, there's a reminder.